Peace. Think fast. <laughs> How ironically, ironically, all the the Bible thumping religions, you know what I'm saying? Those people, matter of fact, uh, from my LSU family, I remember like a free speech alley <laughs> in front of the union where they used to have like the preacher people like stand up and like, you're going to hell. And, you know, if you don't do this, you're going to hell. But it's ironic that those same Bible thumpers are indirectly talking about themselves. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because basically they're talking about the people who don't get scripture, you know. But in their mind, they thinking that, oh, yeah, I read my Bible verbatim. So, yes, John and Jacob did this and this and that. And that's the end all be all, you know. Not really understanding that it's symbolism behind it and the people who don't get the symbolism. Like, so what you're preaching about is about yourself as far as like, you know, it's about getting the true symbolism. Like the people, the God's chosen people and all this is the people who are breaking away from religions and breaking away from that church and Bible thumping, you know what I'm saying? And really raising the energy of God within their temple, you know what I'm saying? That Christ consciousness becoming like Christ. And not just preaching about it, eating the blood and body of Christ and, you know, and things of that nature, like actually being it. But it's ironic how those people, you know, basically talking about themselves and that, that like how they, oh, you, you're not getting into heaven, you're not getting to heaven. Like when in essence, you know, and there ain't no getting into heaven thing, but, you know, as far as like really, you, in, in this instance, let's say, their version of getting into heaven and all this is basically like raising your vibration or equivalent to raising the Christ seed up your kundalini and, you know, getting that that pineal secreted by that Christ all. So basically, though, they obviously they're not doing that because they're Bible thumping and saying everybody else going to hell. So ironically, they're talking about themselves, you know what I'm saying, indirectly without even knowing, you know, but the the true key to get into the kingdom of God is really a meditational, you know what I'm saying? It's not only uh, dealing with opening the heart shock and being of, a condition, of unconditional love, but it's also a spiritual mechanics to your body, you know what I'm saying? It's doing certain breathing techniques and raising the Christ seed within your body, you know what I'm saying? So, as much as this one going to hell and this one going to hell and you and you see, if you don't go through Jesus, Jesus is the only way, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, you you indirectly talking on yourself, you know, talking down on yourself because, yes, the Christ consciousness is the way. But not the actual fake human being called Jesus in the Bible that you think is an actual human. It's a Christ consciousness, you know what I'm saying? It's the way to, you know, uplift your vibration and to, you know... Get that, that, that heavenly vibration, you know what I'm saying? Get closer to God. It's not actually, you know, just reading a book and a story about the guy, you know what I'm saying? The fake guy. <laughs> it's about really getting into that Christ consciousness. So it's just funny how, you know, like all the Bible dumping people indirectly be talking about themselves. And then some cases, some of them will, you know, start waking up slowly and start to see that. Like, you know, like, all right, as much as I go to church and I eat the blood and body of Christ, like, this guy over here, you know, this roster guy is so nice, he's always loving the people, and, you know, and that's more than what I do, you know, you start to see, that's about a true Christ consciousness, you know what I'm saying, because it was, think about it like this, and, you know, and I'm not going to get deep into it, because I just think fast, you know what I'm saying, but, you know, was Christ in the Bible talking about, you know, Christ? Not, not the Christ, Christ consciousness is real, Jesus. With Jesus in the Bible, like, you, you're going to hell for liking this person, and you're going to hell for this, and you, nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, the Christ consciousness is more like, nah, I love everybody. You know, matter of fact, forgive them, for they know not what they do. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, it's a heart, you know, Christ consciousness also deals with the heart shock. You know, so there's a certain type of unconditional love that come with it. But that's basically all I was just ironic how, you know, like people casting other people into hell and 
Bible thumping and you know, oh yeah, this is the word and isn't that, but indirectly they're talking about themselves because they are the lost ones. Those same lost ones who they think are the lost ones are in essence closer to being closer to the source than they are in that moment of, you know, of banning everybody from the kingdom of heaven like they are God when they don't even embrace their God power. So why how could you be banning people from heaven if you don't even embrace your own godness because you're scared of it? But there's so much contradictions within that, but it's all good. <laughs> Just want to bring up that, you know, that point how they indirectly talking about themselves, you know. But I fact, and to help, you know, help everybody, you know what I'm saying? Help reach out. And they ain't trying to teach people. People looking for, you know what I'm saying? If you got that knowledge and know it's about somebody, let them know, you know, like, man, you know, this ain't really what it's about. This ain't, you know. Jesus is really Christ consciousness, and this is really that, you know what I'm saying, like, help them, because I don't feel like people should, you know, like, like I should leave those people in the cold because they're, you know, ignorant to the fact or whatever the case may be, because then what am I being, you know what I'm saying, by, you know, because I even learned to not even feel like, uh, like scorned by Catholic people and they're preaching as far as, like, you know, the falseness of, uh, you know, of taking the Bible at face value, you know what I'm saying, like, I don't even... Because I understand that everything is a growth, you know what I'm saying? And I understood that that was part of, uh, like, my ego trying to stay alive as far as, like, that that disgruntledness about, you know, of, of my experience dealing with the Roman Catholic Church. You know, I try to, you know, because when, when I'm... When I'm in the space of, you know, of source, then it don't, don't even matter. Like, I could care less if somebody, you know, Bible thumping and doing all that and not really, you know, looking at scripture because it's like, you know, it is what it is. They, you know, I'm going to speak to the people who open to to the words and then the rest, you know, it is what it is. But I noticed that that was more of an e egotistical vibration for me to feel like, man, you know, I just want to de-brainwash all the Catholic people. And I just... Like nah, man, you, that's that that's that anger built up from you having to deal with all that, you know, with dealing with the bull crap of going to Catholic church and you know dealing with all that. I developed some type of you know scornfulness about it, but you know even then, I start to realize and I back away from that scornfulness and just say, you know, to each his own. But I also do want to you know keep it real as far as like with you know. With the real symbology of the the Bible, so if somebody come around, I ain't necessarily trying to battle them or whatever, but I will speak the truth about you know what's really going on. But I don't feel like no, I don't feel like no uh no captain save a Christian, you know what I'm saying? No more the way I was. Like I was just trying to like oh no, you really gotta learn the truth up. Huh? You really gotta learn. Either it's for you or you, or you know or it's not. But either way it go. Peace. Happy now, and now is the vibrate, the rate at which we are vibing right now. Peace.